Hello friends, welcome to session 4 on projection of lines. Now we will start with the main problems in lines, what are likely to be given in the university examinations. See here, before doing that, I just make you recollect what exactly we had done till now. This problem, you know, you have a locus in the front view here, here locus in the top view. Now, as soon as you look at this, you should be in a position to tell the problem yourself. Now, since the top view is parallel to XY line, front view has to be in true length. Okay. If top view is parallel to XY line, the front view has to be in true length. That you know, because the, the distance of P in front of VP, distance of Q in front of VP, same means it should be parallel to VP. That means front view on VP, that it has to be in true length. In the same way, if the front view is parallel to XY line, the top view has to be in true length. Okay. Please observe this. Print view, if it is parallel to XY line, the top view has to be in true length. This you should clearly know while solving the problems here. Okay. Okay. Did you follow? Now, you here, top view is parallel to XY line. The front view has to be in true length. Actual length of the line. If you measure this P dash Q dash, you will get the actual length. In case the front view is this, if you measure this, this will be the actual true length uh, of the A line. Okay. That means you should know how to identify. If a view is parallel to XY line, the corresponding other view should be true length. In the same way, if the view is parallel to XY line, corresponding other view should be in true length. That I have told you. And also I have told you about the locus and all that. That means for this locus is if a, if, a, if the line uh, is rotated about Q, fixing at P. Okay. If the line is rotated about Q, okay, Q, as long as inclination to HP is constant, as long as inclination to HP is constant, the distance of end Q above HP will remain same irrespective of the inclination to VP. <coughs> okay, now it is parallel to VP. Once I start rotating uh, PQ, no, this way or this way, if I start rotating, it will develop inclination towards VP. But whatever may be the inclination with respect to VP, the distance of the end Q above HP will remain same. And it, will, and, it will, and it will remain on the locus. And that means, wherever is that, you just dash in the locus and stop. Okay, it will, the distance of end Q above HP will remain same. In the same way, as long as inclination to HP remains same, the top view remains same. Okay, that means, you. that is why you draw an arc. P as center, P Q as radius, you draw an arc because as long as inclination to HP remains same, the top view remains same. That's why P as center, P as P Q as radius, you draw an arc. When you draw an arc means you are developing inclination towards VP, but inclination to HP is constant at 30 degree. Okay. That is the idea what you should get. In the same way, here also, okay, I have drawn a locus in the top view. Inclination to uh, VP is 40 degree. Okay. Now it is this. Now with, uh, if you rotate the line with respect to B, okay, now it is parallel to HP. Okay, it's parallel to HP. Okay, if you start giving the inclination, now it is 40 degrees to VP. Okay, as long as 40 degrees to VP is constant, now it is parallel to HP. Now if you, with uh, NDA fixed, if you rotate the line with respect to B, the inclination, that is, inclination to HP starts developing. That means if you rotate B dash, either this way or this way, Okay, inclination to HP starts developing. But whatever it is, as long as inclination to VP remains same, the distance of B in front of VP remains same. That means wherever you are, you just dash against the locus here. Okay, and stop. You should stop on the locus. That is the idea. That is, if you rotate this way or rotate this way to any point, okay, the final position of B in front of VP should be same. This is the distance in front of VP, no? The B, the B will be on the locus only. Okay. And also, you know, as long as inclination to VP remains same, if you rotate with respect to HP, the front view remains same. A dash, P dash will remain same. That is why A dash is center, A dash, P dash. Front view as the radius. I'll draw an arc this way. I'll draw an arc this way. These things I've told you already. Okay. This will repeat now. Now, projection on lines, main problems inclined to both HP and VP. 
uh, I'll uh, try to cover up as much as possible. Okay. Now, a line is measuring 80 mm. Is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and 45 degrees to VP. See here, line is measuring 80 mm. Is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and 45 degrees to VP. One end is 20 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP. Draw projections of this line. Now, you see here, in the previous thing, here, the line was... Here, the line was parallel to VP. Here, it was line was parallel to HP. Okay. This is inclined to VP, parallel to HP. This is inclined to HP, parallel to VP. But in, in these problems, you will have inclination to both the planes. The line will not only be inclined to HP, but also inclined, to, and inclined at some degrees to VP also. In this complex position, how it appears in the front view and how it appears in the top view has to be written. Okay. Now, XY line you draw, VP, HP you draw. One end of the line, they are given 20 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP, whatever they give, you draw. 20 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP, A dash and A you draw. Okay, now you carefully follow here. The Whatever I have told you till now will be applied here. Now, the line is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Okay, cut the true length. The true length of the line is 80. This is 30 degrees to HP, true length is 80, means... Immediately, the corresponding other view of this, if this is the true length, corresponding other view should be parallel to XY line. You draw this parallel to XY. This you never forget. 30 degrees to HP, this is the true length, corresponding other view should be parallel to XY line. Now, you see, I got the locus here. Okay. The locus is, inclination to 30 is fixed. Now, now it is parallel to VP. But whatever may be the, as long as inclination to HP constant, whatever may be the inclination with respect to VP, the end B should lie on this locus only. That is the significance of locus, you remember that. Okay, we will use that later on. That the significance of the locus, you remember. I repeat, as long as inclination to HP remains constant, whatever may be the inclination with respect to VP, the end B should lie on this locus. Okay, okay. Now, uh, don't worry about all that. Right now, line is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Don't darken anything because it's all initial position. 30 degrees to HP parallel to VP. That's why A dash B1 dash you write. 80 mm you cut. And the corresponding top view is AB1. Okay. Which is the top view of the line. Okay. Then you draw. The line is also inclined at 45 degrees to VP. Okay. The line you draw AB2. Okay. Inclined at 45 degrees to VP. Okay. A, B, 2, 80 mm, 45 degrees to. Okay. If this is the true line, as I have told you earlier, immediately write the corresponding other view parallel to X1. Okay. A dash, B2 dash. This is the basic thing you should know. I have told you A dash, B1 dash, A, B1 you have drawn. A, B2, A dash, B2 dash. Because this is true length, this is corresponding other view parallel to X1. This is true length, corresponding other uh, view parallel to X1. Now, what you do here is, you see here. Now, I have got the locus in the top view. Locus in the top view means, you see here, the significance of the locus in the top view, you see. As long as inclination to VP constant, 45 degrees to VP constant, whatever may be the inclination with respect to HP, the end B should lie on this locus. Okay. Now, you know here, this this is A dash B1 dash. This is AB1. Okay. Now, the inclination is 30 degree. No. 30 degree. Now, if I draw an arc, the top view, uh, uh, the top view length remains same because inclination to HP remains same. That is why A has center, AB1 has radius. I can draw an arc. I can draw an arc. I can go on drawing an arc till it cuts the locus. Once it cuts the locus, immediately stop the line. Okay. Stop the... Uh, stop drawing the... Rotation of the arc. Okay. Immediately stop. That means to say, when you are drawing an arc, okay, when you are drawing an arc this way, throughout it is 30 degrees to HP only. You stopped at the locus because the significance of the locus in the top view, I have already told, as long as inclination to VP remains same, as long as inclination to VP remains same, whatever may be the inclination with respect to HP, the end B should lie on the locus. Okay, end B should lie. In that way, I have got the top view. Once you get this, you get the locus top view here. 
Once you get the top view here, you take the projectors to the front view, projectors to this, and projector and hit against the locus, you are getting the front view also, A dash, B dash. This is the front view and this is the top view. Both are reduced lens. That means this is the line not only inclined at 30 degrees to HP, but I will rotate it such that it is inclined at 45 degrees to VP also. In this complex position, it is not seen in its true length either in the front view or top view. Okay, it is not seen in its true length either in the front view or top view. This is the front view length which is reduced. This is the top view length which is reduced. Okay, please be careful. This you should know. Now the verification is, see here, 45 degrees to VP. The significance of the locus in the front view also you observe. Okay, I am just telling you, the problem is more or less over here. I am telling you, significance of locus in the front view is what actually, as long as inclination to HP remains constant, whatever may be the inclination with respect to VP, the end B should lie on the locus only. Okay, now you see here, 45 degree, this is A, A B2, okay, 45 degree, this is the thing. As long as inclination to VP remains same, as long as inclination to VP remains same, okay, this front view should remain same. You can draw an arc with A dash as center, A dash, B2 dash as radius. You can go on drawing an arc till it gets the locus. Because I clearly told, whatever may be the inclination with respect to VP, as long as inclination to VP remains same, whatever may be the inclination with respect to HP, the end B should lie on this locus. In that way, if you draw this, a dash as center, A dash, B2 dash as radius, if you draw, it should meet this point only. That is the check for this point, check for this uh, uh, problem. Okay. Now, you see here, then you call this as alpha, this as beta, this alpha is the front view inclination of the line, this beta is called top view inclination of the line. Okay. Did you follow? 30 degree is called theta, which is the true inclination of the line with respect to HP, phi is called 45 degree, phi is 45, that is true inclination of the line with respect to VP. Okay, this is the problem line inclined to both HP and VP. You see here, I tell you again, I'll, I'll have to repeat. See here, this is the front view what I want. This is the top view what I want. Okay, this is the front view when line is inclined not only at 30 degrees to HP, but also at 45 degrees to VP. When line is inclined at 30 degrees to HP, 45 degrees to VP, the front view appears this way, top view appears this way. And you know very well, if 20 becomes, uh, this is 120 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP, I give no. If 20 becomes 30, 30 becomes 40, the projections don't change. Projections means A dash, B dash and DAB. This front view and top view will not change depending on these distances. This distance can be anything. If I given some distance, you take. If I not given, you take. Assume any distance. This distance can be anything. Here I given 20 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of it. Now you see, projections will change if I change this 30 degree, theta. Okay. This will uh, uh, change if I change this angle. The projections will change if I change this alpha. Uh, projection will change if I change this phi, this 45 degree. If I, projection will change if I change this beta. Okay, the projections will change if I change this true length 80. The projections will change if I change the front view length A dash B dash. If I, uh, the projections will change if I change the top view length AB. And this is the distance of end B above HP. If I uh, change this, the projections will change. If I change this, the projections will change. That the distance of B in front of VP is this locus. Okay, anyway, but in any problem, here afterwards, this problem, anyway, I'll repeat before. Uh, starting the next session, okay. But uh, right now we understand there are so many parameters. These parameters given. In any problem, only three parameters are needed. Here, 30 degree is one parameter, theta. This 45 degree is another parameter. True length is another parameter. Given three parameters, you should be in a position to complete the projection of line, okay. This is very important. Anyway, before starting the next session, I will repeat this. Okay, thank you friends for watching. We'll continue in the next session.